right? If you're mining Bitcoin, you never want to sell any Bitcoin. And if you raise money, you want to buy Bitcoin with the money you raise. And then you want to borrow against the Bitcoin to pay the operating expenses. If you do that, if, if you believe in Bitcoin, it's, it's obvious. If you don't believe in Bitcoin, maybe you shouldn't be in the business. Like, if you're going to look me in the face and if you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, I don't think you should be a Bitcoin miner. I don't think you should be a Bitcoin exchange. I don't think you should be a Bitcoin wallet. I don't think you should. I, I just don't think you should be. Uh, you shouldn't be a pure play focused in the business at all because you're already you're already a loser. You've already decided you're going to lose. If you think your assets going to zero, it's hopeless. All these other things. If you think it's not going to zero, then rational thinking is the competition in the market is making my Bitcoin more valuable. That's good but the competition is making my existing business less profitable. That's bad. And if I'm a genius and I execute well, maybe I can stay ahead of everybody else. Maybe, maybe. But while I'm doing that, every single free dollar I can raise, I should convert to Bitcoin because there's many, out of a hundred possibilities, there's 99 paths where you fail and Bitcoin succeeds. And there's one path where you fail, where you succeed and Bitcoin succeeds. And, you know, some people don't think Bitcoin is going to succeed, but they're not, they're not with us, right? You don't think Bitcoin is going to succeed, go do something else, you know, whatever with your life, but don't, don't try to create a Bitcoin business.